ดแมสลงแล้วจะจมูกปิดปากไว้ครับผมขึ้นเลยครับ Why Thailand has been pressed for its efforts to contain the spread of the COVID-19. Its economy, like those in other ASEAN countries, has been hard hit by the pandemic. More than 4 million people are currently unemployed, and another 14 million are to be at risk of losing their jobs due to the coronavirus outbreak and widespread drought. In an attempt to revitalize the tourism industry and jumpstart the economy, the Thai government has launched a program to ease entry restrictions for foreign business travelers and tourists. The visitors, however, will be limited to those from low-risk countries. They include New Zealand, Singapore, South Korea and Japan. U.S. Ambassador to Thailand Michael George de Zomblay, accompanied by a team of embassy officials in charge of economic affairs, visited the Eastern Economic Corridor, or EEZ, entry of the U.S. manufacturing firms in Rayong province last Friday. The ambassador reaffirmed the strength of the U.S.-Thai economic partnership and commitment to expanding trade and investment in Thailand. The ambassador said he is committed to helping Thailand attract new investors to EEC in the sectors of agriculture, health, energy, the digital economy and innovation. He said the U.S. will be working with his counterparts from Australia, the United Kingdom and Germany ambassadors to help promote investment potential in Thailand. Sure, one area that we know the Thai government is looking at is what has been referred to as the regulatory guillotine or the safe and simple licensing. And that's really looking at existing laws and regulations and trying to get rid of redundancies to make licensing processes more simple and to general make life easier for foreign investment. So that's a, a very good area that we see the Thai government focusing on. A second area is transport and logistics. We've been working very closely with the Thai government to try to improve the multimodal transport system here in Thailand to allow for the easy use of both rail, sea, air, to combine logistics and allow logistics companies to better utilize Thailand as a logistical hub for ASEAN and potentially greater parts of Asia. The ambassador also said the Thai government should consider simplifying access for foreign skilled laborers, address constraints in the local labor force, and increase e-government platforms. The U.S. ambassador also encouraged the Thai government to lift travel restrictions on business travelers, particularly new investors. Ambassador de Zombre pressed the Thai government for its effective dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, while suggesting that Thailand needs to balance public health with economic in its COVID-19 response. He said, as the country with the highest number of COVID-19 infection cases, the U.S., however, is seeing a decline in the death rate and expect a vaccine against the virus to be available soon. He insisted that the pandemic in the U.S. will not affect trust and confidence in the U.S. Touching on the ongoing political conflicts in Thailand, he said they are not having any effect on U.S. business operation in the country. I spent a lot of time speaking to American international companies here in Thailand, and so far we have not experienced any concern about the political situation. Business continues as normal, and I think people are very comfortable with the operating environment here in Thailand. The U.S. is joining forces with its allies, Australia, the United Kingdom and Germany, to help promote Thailand's investment potential. The U.S. ambassador also urges the Thai government to consider lifting travel restrictions for business travelers. Salanthorn Yothasamut, Thai PBS World.